Hey guys, it's Angry Admin here, and today I have for you MOB issue. Well, it's not an issue per se, but what if you want to open MOB and you type in your FQDN or IP of your vCenter slash MOB and you are getting 503 error message. Anyway, in my case, it was security requirement to disable MOB. That's why you can see that error message. But let's say you are new to the company and you don't know, or there was a security requirement and you need to actually check something and you need to enable MOB. I will show you how to do it. Okay, let's start from logging into the vCenter application. And then we need to find the one file, which is a vpxd.cfg config file. And then we need to change an option to actually enable MOB. Um, so you can use whatever editor you are familiar with. I am using VI, mostly because I don't know how to get out of it. And now we are looking for option called enable debug browser. And now we just change the false to true and save, save the file. And this is the way how you enable MOB. And if you want to disable, you just change true to false. That's it, simply as that. Lastly, we need to restart service. Uh, so just simply control service dash control dash dash stop. And the service is called VMware VPXD. And then you have to start it. So just change stop to start. This will take a while. And just remember the vCenter won't be available for the duration of that process. Your VM will still work, your host will still work. You won't be just able to log into vCenter. And now, as the service has been stopped, I will be starting that service. So just change stop to start. And again, it will take a few moments. Okay, and now it's time for the test. So I put the fqdn slash mob, and here we are, we are in that browser. In any case, that's everything I have for you today. If you have any comments or questions about this, put them down below, and see you in the next one.